In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this quick project. It's a, a KeyFob strap without the need for KeyFob hardware. Um, this project is really quick and easy. Uh, I just wanted to share uh, with you, um, you know, the alternative of creating a KeyFob uh, when you don't have to purchase a KeyFob hardware that you may not need um, for the future projects. All the uh, needed cuts and supplies for this project are listed in the description box below. Uh, so you don't need to worry about writing down any uh, measurements through the video. Everything is provided for you uh, below. Uh, also in the description box below, I will include links to all the supplies I used for this project. Uh, most of it you probably already have, uh, but if you uh, need to uh, purchase anything, the links will be provided. They are not affiliated links, uh, they are just posted there for your convenience. Uh, if you like my tutorials and if you like me to create uh, more videos, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and to give the video a like. And now, if you would like to see me creating this pink and gold version of the key fob, uh, please keep watching. Let's get started. All the supplies needed to create our uh, key fab will be listed in the description box below. Uh, all the measurements uh, will be included. I will just run through uh, the list really quick. Um, so I'm using uh, a woven cotton material. It could be any quilting cotton. Uh, and uh, I'm just using something that uh, it's uh, decorative. Um, so choose a fabric of your choice. Uh, here I'm using a, a nylon webbing tape. It's a tape that is one inch in width and all my measurements uh, for all the other supplies are based on the webbing tape uh, I have. Also, I'm using a strip of uh, SF101 to just give a little more stability to my uh, quilting cotton. Uh, I'm going to be using this polyester uh, the thread. This is a uh, Gutterman Mera uh, 70. Uh, I'm going to be using two pairs of rivets, a key ring, and a swivel clasp. Uh, to start our project, we will um, fuse uh, the interfacing onto our cotton strip. Uh, you can prep your fabric to make sure it's nice and straight. and on the wrong side of the fabric in the middle um, you're gonna center your interfacing so there's a little space left on each side of the fabric on the short ends and it's placed in the middle so you have uh, about equal uh, overhand of the fabric on each side After you have your interfacing fused, uh, we're gonna now use our iron to create a fold on both sides of the interfacing, folding the fabric inside. Uh, when you have your fabric uh, prepped like this, uh, you can just attach uh, attach it to your webbing tape with uh, using clips, or you can use double-sided tape. Uh, you want to have uh, the overhang of those uh, unfinished edges on both ends, so make sure that the fabric is centered uh, onto your webbing tape. I'm going to use uh, the double-sided tape. If you are using the double-sided tape, just cut it around inch shorter than your webbing tape. Place it first in the middle of your accent fabric. Okay. 
remove the backing paper and now slowly center the accent fabric on top of your webbing tape. So I'm just starting with one end and I'm making sure that my accent fabric is centered onto the webbing tape. When you have uh, the webbing tape uh, prepped uh, with your accent fabric, now you're gonna take it to the machine and you're gonna top stitch along those uh, two long edges, come back uh, where your uh, webbing tape ends and do another top stitch along the long edge and come back. So you wanna create uh, a full a rectangular uh, shape onto your webbing tape. Uh, attaching the accent fabric onto your webbing tape. Um, use a uh, 1 8 of an inch seam allowance and 3.5 stitch length. Now our accent fabric is attached to our webbing tape. Uh, just one more thing, we want to make sure that we melt the ends of the webbing tape before we start our project and that's why it's a good thing to use uh, polyester or nylon webbing tape. So you do that on both ends. Uh, and now that you have your accent fabric attached to the webbing tape, uh, we're gonna install our hardware. We're gonna insert our swivel clasp and our keyring. Now uh, on the end where the swivel clasp is, we're gonna fold the row edge of our accent fabric in. Uh, it should be around half an inch to three quarter of an inch uh, in length overhanging the webbing tape. So you can trim it if yours is longer. See, so we're gonna fold it inside, push the clasp down and fold the webbing, keeping the accent fabric folded inside. And this fold should be um, overlapping by three quarters of an inch. So you can temporarily clip it in place with a clip. Then you're gonna take the other end of your webbing tape. You're gonna fold the unfinished end of the fabric and you're gonna overlap the folded end by half an inch. When you have that prepped, uh, you can now take it to the machine and you can uh, sew it on, or you can use rivets, and I'm gonna be using rivets to secure that in place. So I'm gonna use a marking tool to just eyeball the middle of my webbing tape and I want to make sure I'm going to be going through all the layers of my webbing tape. I'm going to punch a hole. And I'm going to place my rivet through all three layers. Now that I have my rivet place, I'm gonna use a rivet press to secure the rivet in place. And that's how my swivel clasp is attached to my key fob. Now I'm gonna Make sure that my keyring is secured. So you're gonna bring your keyring down about a half an inch or three quarter of an inch down from the rivet and uh, about an inch from the first rivet. You're gonna punch another hole to attach 
uh, to secure the keyring onto your tape. And just like that, you created a keyf up um, strap without the need of purchasing uh, the keyf up hardware. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to create a keyf up strap without uh, the need of uh, purchasing the keyf up hardware. Uh, I hope you're gonna give this quick project a go, and if you do, please make sure to share it with me on the social media. Uh, the link to the social media uh, websites uh, are in the description box below. Uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and to give the video a like. Till the next time.